welcome back to my next video for more videos click on that subscribe button and for the latest updates from me click on that bell icon and never forget to subscribe my channel as well as to share the videos with your social media friends and if you like this channel then recommend to others happy to see you all so in this video we are going to tell i am going to tell you how to program this mimas spartan 6 right i have told you in my previous video that we will be playing with fpga right so this is the very first program we will be making a small program called like uh, we will be awning a led by using a switch we on this fpga i have told you that there were four switches and eight leds right so today we will see how to program the switch and then this led okay so basically you can see that ucf file their clock is given leds are present 0 down to 7 and there are four switches 0 down 0 to 3 so clock number is 126 port number and those all things they have given and there are two headers p1 and p2 ports nothing but two ports p1 and p2 which are used to give input or output you can take it you can make them as an input or output i was standard right so basically we will today we will be seeing these things or oh, basic program nothing but your switch if you press the switch it will be on if you release this if you release it then it will be off okay so without wasting time let us open our xilinx so this is how we open the xilinx basically this video will be long somewhat like 12 minutes or 13 minutes but no worries please watch the video till end because you will be learning i will be telling you each and every point how i have done and you will be seeing right how to do program it and all if you are using a crack version if i have given if you are till not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel below now you can able to see that i have creating a new folder as you know where who, anyone watching my videos from first then you can able to see and then i have selected the family spartan 6 family and the device and the package it depends upon your fpga which fpga you are using if you are using the same fpga which i am using then these are your specifications if you want to buy the fpga please see the link below in the description in my vlog i have told you that last video that someone was asking this fpga that link i have sent to him and please see the description okay so now let us select the verilog module and let us light the led and switch okay so basically here i have already programmed it i have already know that some uh, this fpga has pull up uh, concepts pull up and pull down concepts i have already told you in my vlog in my previous video second video you can able to see fun with fpga if you search in fun with fpga then you will be finding that in second fpga I have told about pull up and pull down concept right so that's the reason here the logic will be somewhat reverse but let us see what you what we usually think of it okay and let us program in that way how we think if button is switch is equal to one then only your led will be on one okay so basically uh, always we will be writing that led as register output as register right now today in this video i will be not be writing output as register register led equal to zero i have taken one small register i have taken and always at the rate of inputs that is the common thing uh, switch and then always begin and you will be having an end tag right and inside it you will be writing your code now i'll be taking if syntax this is a behavioral model i am writing right now if your switch is very much is equals to logical equals to right very much equals to i tell you but logically equals to one degree one i'll be making this video in hindi also no worries okay so hindi viewers you can switch to hindi telugu viewers you can switch to telugu because every language wants to how to program the fpga right so that's the reason i will make all the language which i know okay this video this only particular this video okay so basically basically okay begin end and switch if equal to one then it is one like and if it is not equals to one then if it else it should be zero it should be in off condition right so that's all and uh, let me save the program and let me simulate the model okay let me see end uh, there is one more end extra and i think so let me leave, remove that end also end part and this is not led it is like register which we have taken right led underscore zero at last you need to write assign led underscore zero to your led okay led equals to led underscore zero concept okay so this thing you should to maintain it and the end should be removed because i require only one end and remaining things are not required so that's the reason okay so basically those things done right now save the program go to simulation tab and then you click on design simulation which check syntax and then simulate your brave 
hardware model so i have already given the inputs basic basically how to give inputs how to give inputs you have seen in the previous videos also so that's the reason what i have done i have given the inputs and you can able to see that if led equals to 1 then your switch is equals to 1 then led equals to 1 if is led is equals to 0 it is zero simple kind of simple program which i have written right now okay so now let us go to implementation part if you click on implementation in this i will be getting an error so that's the reason i have to open it in the 32 bit okay and uh, we have two bits right 32 bit and 64 bit so i need to open in 32 bit so to program your fpga so now let us go to implementation and let us go to ucf file click on new and click on implementation constraint file ucf file is written by pog designer and designer not manufacturer and designer we are the designers we will write your implementation file okay icf file now i require an one led let me take one led okay let me copy it and let me paste it here okay this is your led and i require one switch for this program so i have taken one and i have pasted here now you need to change this led of 0 to your name which you have given in your program i have given basically led and sw led and sw those are my input and output and the save it and then you just click on right click on generate program file and click on binary okay create binary file and make it okay and double click on it you click on s and after some time you can able to see that it will be synthesizing now while it get synthesized let us open a mimas which we have downloaded basically mimas the software which we need to pog we need to pog dump and binary file into the fpga you can able to see the, on the screen my fpga board which i have connected to my laptop right okay let me see which port i have connected right now okay let me select the port right now so basically this is the mimas fpga configuration tool if you want this just you can comment below i will be providing you this tool if you are if you have byte then only you want this okay if you are using others then you don't require it the compound 8 i have used here so okay so let me close it and let me see compound number 8 i have used okay let me select the compound number 8 you can able to see that my screen on this small screen i have, what i am doing i am dumping right now but here i have generated a program file right so here the i have recorded in the two screens i have recorded it with my phone as well as i have recorded with on my screen for okay, camtas here so both the things i have used that's the reason your video might be somewhat slow or video might fast okay so don't not worry about it but the thing is this thing here what i have done is i have removed this pull up on led you can able to see that pull up has gone removed because you don't require leds as pull up you require switch which is input that you need to be pulled up okay now what i am doing again i am generating the program file okay and then again i will be uploading it okay if when we upload it you can able to see on the screen that led will be on whenever you click on it okay whenever click on that switch it will be off it will be in reverse mode okay it will be like in reverse mode now let me how to upload it you can able to see you can able to see that i am going to my folder and then i have click, clicked on the binary file which it has generated okay led switch dot binary okay now you need to upload it just you need to click on upload it will be uploaded okay so this is what you do just you need to upload it and then you can able to see that your led will be like on or off okay on off kind of thing you can do now we have as we have seen that the led is like on and then whenever you are pressing the switch then it is like off now let me change the code okay let me change the code to reverse thing and let me come back to this video again okay i have cha i am changing it okay you can able to see on the screen as well as you can able to see on the screen as well as you can able to see on the my desktop also the so both the things are same let me check again let me change the values i have changed it to as you can able to see on the screen that i have changed the led when the switch is on it led is off and when it is when it switch is press when it switch is equals to zero then it is like on so i have reversed the condition right now and then what i am doing is right now i am generating the program file and then i am implementing it whenever you implement on this board your red led glows okay whenever you dump the code here inside your fpga the what it happens means your led will be in on boy position red led will be on position stating that you are dumping something in inside me okay after it get dump then you can able to see that it will it will be turned off okay your red led will be turned off and then as usual you need to 
check out whether it is working perfectly or not so i think due to the phone screen or the window of my camera uh, some parts of your mima software you can't able to see right so what i'll do i will make sure that the we the screen will be like small as small as possible because if it is so small then you can't able to visible right so that's the reason i have kept it so hope you have liked this video you have seen the output results and you got an information rough information that how you have we are developing it okay we are writing in ucf icf file not ucf file how we are writing an icf file and then we are implementing it and for more videos you stay tuned to my channel if you like this video please like it and if you tell me that if you want a long duration of videos in single video every program should be executed then tell me that you want it uh, just comment below that you have liked the video just i have liked this video and then i'll be making this kind of videos for you on fpga otherwise i will be stopping this fpga series of videos because i hope it is understood that how to program an fpga thank you for watching this video have a nice day